ladies and gentlemen good morning welcome to Rashi's Kaiman TV the tallest man in black Africa one big shock awaits William Samoy Ruto Bele Sisawa Hatakidogo William Samoy Ruto the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya entered state house with 42% of votes from the people of Mount Kenya. And the big question today is, can William Samuel Ruto garner the 87% that he garnered from Mount Kenya? The big question today is, can William Samuel Ruto succeed his second term? Can he win the hearts and the soul of the hustlers like he did in 2022. If you are joining this channel for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and kindly like this video at this juncture. The greatest shock that awaits William Samoruto is going to, uh, to scare everybody, is going to shake everybody. Number one in my view, come 2027, nobody will be associated with UDA. Nobody wants to be associated with UDA, UDA as we approach 2027 January elections. UDA will be completely rejected. In fact, it will be a total contrast of what happened in 20. 22. In 2022, everybody in Mount Kenya wanted to run with the ticket of William Samuel Ruto. In 2027, nobody would want that ticket. That's the first shock that will actually uh, shock everybody. That is one of the things that will shock William Samuel Ruto. That nobody would want to vie for the uh, parliamentary seat, MCA, senator or governor using UDA ticket. Number two in my view is that today many Kenyans are regretting voting for William Samuel Ruto. In fact, I've been asking uh, many people uh, in the mountain parts of Nairobi who is their preferred candidate. And many people are of, of the opinion that Raya Morodiga should be in the ballot. That's the most shocking thing. In fact, the people of the Mount Kenya want to vote for Raya Amorodega. <clears throat> the reason why they want to vote for Raya Amorodega, they are saying <clears throat> in 2017, they rejected him and Kenyatta brought him into his government. In 2022, again, they voted for William Samoruto, but William Samoruto brought him into the government and now he's inside the government. So they are saying this time round, they don't want to go through round circles because the people they have been electing them, the people they have been electing, knows very well they are not better than Raila Amor Odega. So they are saying they want to reward Raila Amor Odega direct. I don't know whether Raila Amor Odega has his intelligence on the ground. I don't know. But this is what is happening, ladies and gentlemen. Other than Gen Z having their own candidates, people are saying if Raila was to vie, they would vote for him and must to punish William Samoru and to reward Raila Amor Odega directly. The other thing that is going to shock William Samoru is that any candidate who will vie or who will contest against him will be rewarded. Be it Stephen Kalosom Sioka, be it Raila Amor Odega, be it Wajakoya, anybody who will vie for uh, the presidency using another ticket other than William Samoru I think they are going to reward him. This is another shock that is going to await William Samoruto. But the big question that um, William Samoruto should ask himself, what is he going to do, by the way? Because the other uh, shock that is awaiting him is that his key allies in the mountain, none of them will go back to parliament. Already, even before we go to the elections, people have rejected him. If you come from Kikui constituency, would you vote for, did, for, for um, Kimani Shomwa? If you come from uh, Nakuru, would you vote for Keika? 
Would you vote for, 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 for the current governor? If you come from Kirinyaga, would you vote for Anwe Igoro? If you come from Kiabu, would you vote for, um, for example, somebody like uh, Gathoni Omashoba? Because in Gathoni I know Gathoni Omashoba will be rejected, uh, will be voted in. That is it. So what will shock him is that all these people that he calls point men in the mountain and in Nairobi, in parts of the country, will be rejected. The other thing that will shock him is that Raila may be in the ballot. <laughs> Raila may be in the ballot. You know, William Samuel Ruto is doing everything possible to make Raila happy. William Samuel Ruto is doing everything to ensure that Raila wins the African Union Commission chairperson, which is good in my view, and he should win. But the big question is, is this all what Raila want? Will Raila come back? If you look at the way Raila has been praying, if you look at the way Raila has been behaving, look at the way he has been uh, uh, treating as mere uh, uh, principles, you look at the way he has been telling Kenyans he's not, there's no coalition between him and William Samoruto. It tells you that William Samoruto should be very, very much afraid of Raila Morodika. He'll be shocked to find the man that he thinks is his ally on the ballot. And why uh, uh, will people behave the way they will? Why will William Samoruto find it very rough, especially uh, to get the votes that he got in Mount Kenya, in Nairobi, and in many parts of the country? Number one is because of the feeling of betrayal. People are feeling betrayed by William Samoruto. One thing I know about the Kikuyus, Kikuyus said betrayal. In fact, if you ask Waze, I was asking some Waze about the history of the mountain, and they were telling me that one of the reasons that they did not listen to Uhuru Mwe Kenyatta is, not, is that not Uhuru was bad, Uhuru was a very good person, but he had promised to them, he had promised William Samoruto that he was going to support him. That's what they are saying. But today they are regretting. And now they are saying that now William Samoruto uh, actually betrayed them, that uh, he told them that he was going to uh, revive all the projects that were stalled and even bring many development. And now that, that nothing is coming, they feel that they have been betrayed. And now that they were fighting Raya Amoro Diga, and now he brought him in the government, then they feel betrayed. So there's no need of voting for him. The other thing is that um, there's a feeling that majority of the people who were abducted, the majority of people who died during the demonstrations come from Mount Kenya, comes from Nairobi. And there is that feeling of bitterness that we are hearing barrios here and there all the time. And the fact that it is the youth who died, it is something that will make William Samuel Ruto lose in the 2027 general election. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to make that video short because it is about the nightmare. It is about what awaits William Samuel Ruto. I don't know what is happening, where you are on the ground, but where I am, because I operate between Nairobi and Kiabu, I think William Samuel Ruto would be very, very lucky to get even 1% of the votes in Kiabu. William Samuel Ruto would be very, very lucky to get 10% of the votes in Nairobi. Have a blessed weekend. Not weekend, sorry for that. Week ahead. Bye-bye.